So I've had my break, and now I'm uh, starting a new roll. Good job. So I've got 300 foot of fence up. I'm working on the next 150. Uh, been working all day. It's already uh, 12, around 12 it must be. It takes time because I got to clear the wood, clear the brush, clear the sticks, clear the rocks. But it's definitely going to be worth it. Spanning such distance is tough to get tight. I think you gotta pull it from that end for some reason. it up there. These trees are tall. I can't even see up there. Unfortunately, that tree and the one behind this one are going to have to go because that's exactly where the raccoons can climb. I always put five nails at the top where there's tension, where there's the most tension. And then just in the middle. couple here and there. Now, this is sagging here. Let's see if I can pull that sag out. better and get that on there. Oh. Not exactly easy to put tension on there and get a staple started. Well, I want to carry on. Oh, I'm going to get this roll done and I want to call it quits for the day. And then uh, go in and work on videos for a while in the heat of the day. 
Working smart this time. That's a lot of junk in the ground. It's the old woods. Well, that's not really old, but I mean, you can see there's a lot of stuff has fallen with the time. All this has to be moved out of the way. Try and string up my fence. Ah. dense out here really dense and I'm getting a headache so when this roll is done I'm done for the day it's just getting hot 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 and it's so humid and I've definitely got to do some cutting in here there's a uh, it's getting really thick I don't know if you can see the uh, all the brush all that uh, stringy stuff is just going to be in the way, absolutely in the way. So I'm going to have to cut. And right now, I'm about, let me see, uh, I'm about even with the uh, the back of the chicken uh, uh, chicken uh, run. Sorry, it's, when it's humid and hot, it's just uh, harder to breathe. Sorry, I'm waving at gnats. <laughs> All right, well, continue on. I want to tell you a, a little prayer answer I've got here. It's really dense in here. As you can see, I'm having a hard time finding my, my way through. I prayed that the rules would reach uh, from tree to tree and unravel a, ending in a tree without any waste. But I'll tell you what, it can't get any tighter than that. I had to stretch it, but I got it. It... it, it <laughs> That's amazing. Um, all three rolls pretty much lined up. Well, the last two, because I prayed on the last two, and they lined up on the end of a tree. I mean, that is absolutely great with no waste at all. And in a random forest like this, just ending up like that, that's good. Now you can see the workshop camper right here. I think you can see it. I am nearing the end of the meadow. I have uh, 450 feet of wire now across. Now there's my tents over here. I have come across and out probably about 150 feet away from the house into the forest. And then I followed the trees trying to keep it somewhat straight. I don't know if you can see the line, a fence. I think you can see that. Tried to keep it somewhat straight as I went but following the trees and uh, boy the mosquitoes are swarming they're not biting but they're swarming around me they're just a mass around me uh, I'm covered in uh, skin so soft Avon skin so soft I think it's called I had to smother my body in it because any spot that wasn't covered they were biting so I had to literally bathe in it so I've got the end here and I've got a lot of cutting to do this is going to be really some serious work with a chainsaw um, this is really dense here and I'm bordering on heat exhaustion so I'm gonna have to stop I really if it wasn't so hot I would go on and I would I would probably knock out the entire fence in a day 
but it's just so brutally hot. I am um, starting to get dizzy and uh, I can feel the, the, the heat radiating out of my body. Uh, it's probably about 90 some odd degrees again with a higher humidity so uh, I'm not complaining just telling you what it is because you don't know because you're not here so I hope you guys understand I'm just telling you what's going on. <sighs> well anyway I'm gonna have to take out all of this right here when I come back and then I'm gonna use this angled leaning tree actually these are all leaning and then I'm gonna go from that one out to that right there the straight one behind that crooked one and work on over there's a massive thick one there weave my way out behind the workshop camper come across over and there's gonna be a gate back there somewhere for me to go hunting in the future and then meet up actually look here let me see if I can get my eyes on the camera this is a uh, exciting point when I can see boy I can't even see though in the camera where is it there see that that's why I set the markers on my first day working out here. And I'm almost back around to the markers. Another roll of wire will bring me around behind the workshop camper and cross over to the other side to where my marker, my uh, orange markers are. I think, I don't know if you can see the, uh, get the angle here uh, between these trees. Um, there is, well, there's a camper. Ah, there. There's a marker. Okay. And there's another marker up here somewhere. So anyway, the orange markers are there. It's hard for me to focus on the camera and see. But I've come right around to the front of the camper to where I ended up last time. When I was cutting and clearing brush. Now, I didn't cut all the way over. And there's a strip here behind that camper that I didn't do. I came through quite a ways. The Widowmaker stopped me over there, so that's why I started back over here behind the house on the other side of the driveway. But I figure if the if the heat wasn't so bad, I'd finish today. I would literally finish today if the heat wasn't so bad. I would just do it in a day. But I've got to take care of my health. So... And I promised myself I would do video work in the afternoon during the heat. So that's it for today. I'm excited. I, I really am excited, but uh, I got to take it easy and um, talk to you guys later. I think unless I come up with something else I do this afternoon, and that's it for today. Troy from the do-it-yourself world on the off-grid project. An exciting moment here at the off-grid homestead. Really exciting. Actually, I want to take you for a walk and show you what a 450 feet looks like. We'll just go on through here and have a look at my work. I'm gonna to have to put a support here and there. There's some sagging uh, stuff here and there. I've got a lot of stuff to cut out later because this is where the animals can jump over, where the chickens could jump over. Anything that's leaning and anything that's close to the fence needs to go away. So, and on that on both sides, so that nothing can climb over and escape in or out. I really feel good today. I really, really am happy. I have no doubts and no regrets for what I'm doing. I'm absolutely sure that this is going to be good and that this is the right thing to do for the off-grid homestead. Because you'll see, pause, and see all the area here that I have protected now for the chickens. Look at all this. You can't really see it with the camera as well, I don't think, but look at all this stuff for the chickens to scratch in. This is just Whoa, they're gonna have this is like chicken heaven here all the bugs and all the stuff they're gonna eat here this is chicken heaven all these leaves all this stuff they're gonna scratch this up look at this this is years and years and years of leaf growth or of leaf dropping see look at this years they're gonna tear this up there's worms and grubs and ants and bugs and ant eggs oh ant nests are they're gonna love ant nests this is, uh, I'm really getting excited as I go. This is really good. All these little uh, spindly trees are going to have to come back. Some of the bigger ones are really going to have to come back to, uh, to block raccoons. <sighs> All the way back here. 
to the evergreen. Here's the corner. Right here we have a turn. So this is the back corner of my fenced in property. So there we go all the way deep into the woods and all the way out to the truck camper or the uh, uh, workshop camper, all the way out there. Beautiful property here, beautiful property. It's gonna be even more beautiful when there's no ticks. So I'm gonna have to get a post here, sagging wire. Definitely gotta fix that. All the way along. It's a nice size. The chickens are gonna have it good. Joy is gonna enjoy it. Joy is really gonna enjoy this. Look at these leaves for the chickens to dig and scratch to. Look at this. Years and years of stuff for them to scratch to. I won't have any more carpenter ant problems. No more infestations in the RV, in the house. The chickens will eat everything. So, we're up behind the tiny house. Truck camper. Look at this. Thick layers for the chickens to dig in. They're not going to need food. Nine, ten months out of the year, they'll have food. And then up to the driveway. There it is, 450 feet. Almost halfway done. Just about halfway done. Exciting moment here. Well, see y'all later.